Hey guys! Today I'm going to talk about a couple of the Father's Day items as well as some other random stuff that you guys have requested and I will touch you up with some news. First off, I am still waiting on one kitchen order that I placed in like April. They said I'd wait 30 days obviously and then tomorrow I think I can email and actually figure out what's going on with it. Some of you may know from my social media that I got myself an underwater camera for $35. I thought I'd be able to get all these cool angles of the bombs going into the water and it would just be so much awesomeness and it turned out horrible. So if you ever want to buy an underwater camera, just spend the money. I had a few people ask what I got from the Little Lush Fans private party. Guess I probably should have told you, huh? I grabbed another cup o coffee face mask. I had to definitely restock up on De Fluff. I got 93,000 miles shower jelly, the dirty massage bar, which I will be talking about today, Aliens and Monsters fun soap. In some places it's called Monsters and Aliens. It's Lord of Mizrul, how could I like not already get into it and use it? Sorry. I got a frozen bomb because I know I've already demoed it, but I don't remember it at all whatsoever, so got another one. And they were happy to give me the big pile of fun that we played with that night, so Miet has something to play with in the bathtub now. I believe in next week's video I'm gonna tell you that I don't know what I'm doing like the week after, but I do. I have like a whole series of videos. So while I'm moving, I can at least give you guys something to watch. Let's see what I got going on here. So obviously today I'm going to do a, only a couple Father's Day items just because I already did them last year and they're basically the same. I'm going to show you how to melt down a massage bar. I have nine UK items I can show you. I received an influencer box and also a booty bag, so I think I could probably make a video out of that. All the questions you guys have been sending in about like me personally. That's a video. I do have an ex-Lush employee questionnaire coming up as well. Obviously, miscellaneous random products throughout like a normal Lush video that I do. My favorite item from each category. And then obviously by that time, I'm gonna be completely into my new house and everything's gonna be all good and we're, you know, we'll be back to normal. So these are not new to the Father's Day line. Like there's, I didn't get any, I only got the scrub and the shampoo bar. If you guys want to watch my Father's Day video from last year, click above. I figured I would just touch bases on the ones that I really 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 like. So obviously the facial scrub smuggler soul. Scrub yourself soft and experience the intriguing smoky notes of sustainably sourced sandalwood. This limited edition Father's Day facial scrub is packed with super fine bamboo granules to give skin a gentle exfoliation. A rich and luxurious blend of argan oil, olive oil, and shea butter help hydrate skin so it's silky smooth, while fresh cucumber and papaya juice brighten up complexions so you'll look as fresh as you feel. I was so sad when we ran out of this last year. This scrub was a life saver for my acne. It improved my skin so much. In last year's video, I went on this like rant about how Smuggler's Soul is so much better than this other microdermabrasion product. It's definitely worth the watch. Number one on the Father's Day products list. Get this. The only other thing that I would get from the Father's Day line, I mean, if you've already tried everything else, just like as a let's get again, would be the Smuggler's Soul shampoo bar. For the dads who like to keep things practical, this solid shampoo is packed with an effective combination of ingredients that'll cleanse and condition in one swoop. No wasting water here, dad. Watercress infusion keeps scalps happy while sandalwood and rosewood oils add a light, woody aroma to lift your mood. Dad might have trouble keeping this one to himself. This year, Smuggler Soul has received a big facelift. It's no longer that mysterious gorgeous purple bar and now looks more grown up. It is still the same moisturizing bar that everyone came to love last year. I kinda miss the way it looks. Still has that like really masculine, woody, amazing smell though. So I had a request to get the Enzymion, Enzymion, Enzymion facial moisturizer. So I got myself a little sample. It smells okay, kind of cocoa-y. 
Let's get into it. If your face is predominantly oily, this is the moisturizer for you. An incredible blend of astringent citrus fruits like papaya and lemon help mop up excess oils and cleanse your face of dry skin and debris built up throughout the day. Nutrient-rich avocado and evening primrose oils replenish essential vitamins and minerals. Lush recommends pairing enzymion, enzymion with a refreshing sea salt scrub, ocean salt. The result? Skin that glows from the inside out. This moisturizer has an amazing coverage. You only need a small amount and it glides over your whole whole face. Because it is very thick, it can feel somewhat greasy. I only apply it to certain areas since it is for really oily prone skin. It doesn't mattify your skin as well as Magical Moringa, but it definitely helps. So the last one I'm going to talk about today is the Dirty Massage Bar. Melt this decadent fair trade cocoa butter bar on your partner and let its invigorating scent tantalize your senses. Lush has created this massage bar with their popular minty dirty perfume and added a generous helping of softening cocoa powder to leave skin silky and perfectly touchable. Grab this bar for an indulgent yet refreshing massage with a vegan dark chocolate center when you want to get really dirty. I've always passed over this bar because I'm not a fan of spearmint and the thought of smearing chocolate all over does not really seem appealing to me. But with everyone requesting, I decided to finally pick one up. First off, there are no chunks of anything in this, so that is a major plus. You guys know how I am with my chunks in my massage bars. It is so smooth on my skin and it lingers all day. The bar seems to last longer than the others, probably because of the absence of chunks. Dirty is a very masculine scent, which is a nice change, but if you're expecting a chocolate scent, don't be too disappointed as it's mostly just mint. Thank you guys for the suggestion because like I said, not really into mint, but this thing is awesome. I've already started to like visually plan my new Lush room. Yes, there is a Lush room, so I will not be filming on my bed anymore. If there's anything you guys want to see in the Lush room, like that I should decorate with, like things to put up on the walls, whatever, let me know. Next week, I am doing the five minute makeup challenge with Brittany. So she's not here anymore. We did this video when she was, and it was a lot of fun. So be sure to like and subscribe, and I will see you guys next week.